good morning students in the previous video we were uh, on the chapter that is representation of the earth that how is earth represented on various things like globe like map we have studied and in the previous video we have taken up the topic components of map in that at last we have studied about the direction that we have studied about the main directions also and the cardinal points of the compass also so students we will start from if we are if we are in field of or traveling across an ocean we use a compass to find the direction you know in a field right in a field in any area field means in any area right we are and mainly when we are traveling through oceans you know in ocean it is quite difficult to find out the directions so we use this compass a compass has a magnetic needle which rotates freely on a pivot by placing the compass on a plane surface the needle comes to rest you know if the compass is not on a plane surface if it is in your hand it starts moving it freely moves but when you place the compass on a plane surface it stops moving and it becomes stationary constant it then points towards the north and south direction so the compass always points towards the north and south direction the darker or colored side of the needle at rest always points towards the north you can see darker and colored side of compass okay that is the needle it always points towards the north keep the compass away from metallic objects it can cause a false reading if kept too close to them because it is a magnetic compass so we should keep this compass away from the magnetic objects otherwise hamari readings kya hongi galat ho jayengi now symbols forest rivers hills railway lines and roads are shown by some common symbols on a map you know when we are reading a map how do we come to know about various things that where are the forest where are the roads so these all the things they are shown by different symbols so and these symbols are common common in the world so if you are in any country you can easily read the map because these symbols are common so students with the help of common symbols we can read a map made in any country without knowing the language of the country so without knowing the language we can read through the symbols these symbols are known as conventional symbols so symbols that are common throughout the world representing different things are known as conventional symbols question can come in your exams the symbols make the map reading easy and quick so with the help of symbols map reading becomes easy and quick you can see here conventional symbols so there are boundaries if the boundary is international boundary so how that international boundary is being represented like this right like this if that is a state then like this if roads metalled pakka road hai like this non metal kacha road hai like this river is shown like that tank dam spring conifer tree deciduous tree bridge railway line you know railway line is divided into two broad gauge meter gauge jo zyada badi railway line hai ye thodi patli hai temple mosque church village so these are the symbols that are conventional symbols they are same in all the maps of the world if you are not aware of the language of that country still you will be able to read the map through its symbols now we have color scheme you must have seen the maps in different colors like common symbols a common color scheme has also been adopted for showing different 
relief relief features on the map you know what are relief features relief feature means mountains plateaus plain areas water bodies these are the relief features so different color scheme bhi use ki jati hai right blue color is used for showing water bodies like ocean seas etc whenever we use blue color that we use to show water bodies low lowlands and plains are represented by green color so plain area or lowlands lowlands means jo basic sea level se niche hain they are shown by green color higher parts like plateaus and hills are shown by yellow and orange colors while brown color is used for showing mountains so you know with different colors we use we show different relief features snow caped snow caped areas shown by using white color the scheme of colors for showing relief features on the map is the same throughout the world and even the color scheme is also same throughout the world all the world all the world has adopted the same color scheme as the same conventional symbols but students aap jaise map banate ho class mein hum map fill karte hain so now it is made compulsory that you will fill map only with lead pencil jo aap pencil simple pencil use karte ho only with that you are not supposed to color or fill colors in your map that thing has been changed now students we have different types of maps also large scale small scale political physical thematic you know various maps are there so maps are broadly classified on the basis of scale or type of information they contain scale means you know that scale aapko bataya tha map mein niche bani hoti hai like 10 km equal to 1 cm right ki kaise hum present kar rahe hain map ko on the base and they are categorized as large scale maps and small scale to ye main difference hai maps mein baki what they are representing wo to difference hoga hi right so large scale maps so what are large scale maps they represent small area on large scale large scale maps means chote se area ko hum bada bana ke dikha rahe hain right like aapka ek town hai ya aapki ek village hai राइट right? छोटा सा कोई माउंटेन है उसको हम दिखा रहे हैं तो हम क्या करेंगे बड़ी स्केल पे उसको दिखाएंगे राइट द एग्जांपल इज गिवन ओवर हियर सच मैप्स आर टॉपो टॉपोग्राफी मैप्स विच शो ग्रेटर डिटेल्स ऑफ सिटीज विलेजेस माउंटेन्स एक्सेट्रा यू नो माई न्यू डिटेल्स हमें उसमें दिखानी है बहुत ज़्यादा डिटेल में कि यहाँ से गली मुड़ रही है यहाँ पर छोटा सा टेम्पल भी है शॉप भी है कॉट इट they represent these details with the help of contour and symbols for example the scale may be 1 cm equal to 1 km theek hai to zyada chaudi ho gayi na scale it means 1 cm on the map representing corresponding 1 km of the ground agar aap map mein naap ke dekhoge measure karke dekhoge to jitna 1 cm ka gap hoga na map mein wo real mein 1 km ka map hoga राइट right? ये होती है स्केलिंग ये है लार्ज स्केल लार्ज स्केल मैप में हम छोटी चीज़ों को बहुत ज़्यादा डिटेल में समझाते हैं देन वी हैव स्मॉल स्केल मैप्स स्मॉल स्केल मैप्स आर दोज विच शो लार्जर एरियाज विद लेस डिटेल्स लार्जर एरिया में एरिया बड़ा दिखा रहे हैं डिटेल्स हम ज़्यादा नहीं बता रहे हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंडिया का मैप ले लो जिसमें हमने सिर्फ स्टेट्स की डिवीजन दिखाई है बाकी कुछ नहीं दिखाया डिटेल तो नहीं ज़्यादा है दैट इज़ ए लार्ज स्के स्मॉल स्केल मैप वॉल मैप्स और और एटलेस मैप्स शोइंग वर्ल्ड कॉन्टिनेंट कंट्रीज एंड स्टेट्स विद लिमिटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन आर स्मॉल स्केल मैप्स जिसमें इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको लिमिटेड मिल रही है अब इंडिया का जो पॉलिटिकल मैप है उसमें आपको सिर्फ स्टेट्स की डिवीज़न है और उसके नाम लिखे हैं बाकी तो कोई डिटेल नहीं है राइट right? और ये स्केल कैसी होती है वन सेंटीमीटर इक्वल टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर अगर आप मैप में वन सेंटीमीटर का गैप मेजर कर रहे हो तो ग्राउंड में कितना होगा वो हंड्रेड किलोमीटर तो ये है स्मॉल स्केल मैप वन सेंटीमीटर ऑन द मैप इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स ऑन द ग्राउंड ठीक है स्टूडेंट्स 
सो स्टूडेंट्स अप टू हेयर ओनली वी विल स्टडी आपने चैप्टर बहुत अच्छे से रिवाइज करना है एवरी थिंग यू आर सपोज टू लर्न अदरवाइज यू विल गेट कन्फ्यूज एंड आपके आंसर्स रॉन्ग हो सकते हैं ठीक है थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स हैव ए नाइस डे